Commander Cody has successfully landed on Geonosis and established a foothold. He's attempting to siege the facility that the droids are producing more droids from. A droid factory, if you will. However, he's come upon a challenge. A single Spire Fortress was unable to be captured in the last video. The droids have reestablished their defenses there, with new sonic cannons, battle droids, and Geonosians defending the small fortress. TYR-110 was the droid that successfully killed over 100 clones in the last video with a sonic blaster cannon. He is now known as Tyrone, and is leading the defense of the fortress at the peak. Will the droids stop the clones from taking the spire, and thus preventing them from sieging the rest of the facility? Or will Cody's troopers be triumphant once again? If you guys do enjoy this video, please be sure to hit that like button. It really does help me out a ton in the YouTube algorithm if you do. Subscribe if you haven't already, and comment down below if you'd like to see the next part of this series. Either way, let's get into it. What's up gamers, I'm here to tell you about Instant Gaming. Instant Gaming is an amazing place where you can get some fire deals on all sorts of video games. Uh, seriously, it's like 60 to 95% off as you can see here. Uh, these are all of the Star Wars titles they have. They literally have every Star Wars title. Uh, you can also get XCOM here, Men of War Assault Squad 2, all of the games I play on the channel you can buy here for extremely cheap prices. If you use my affiliate link in the description, it helps me out a ton so thank you guys for listening to this sponsorship and thank you to instant gaming for continuing to sponsor the channel Alrighty then gamers let's go in slow-mo here and press start as the clone trooper forces begin to move forward on the geonosis spire fortress here oh we've already got shots getting fired over this way uh these troopers are commanded by waxer over here and it looks like a small droid uh vanguard squad is at the very front lines over this way and they're immediately getting wrecked they're probably just an early warning system for the droids to let the rest of the fortress know hey the clones have come back to try and finish the job uh but these guys will hopefully be able to get a couple kills maybe Ugh, the atte is just absolutely rolling them so i don't think that is going to be the case uh it looks like we've got oh already one of the sonic blaster cannons over here is down for the count these things are very very valuable they are what can make the droids win this thing outright. So keeping those alive is going to be muy importante. Uh, it's not happening right now. And it does appear to be sort of a battle of the snipers at the very start, just like last battle, honestly, uh, with the only people being able to fire at this point uh, is the people who have the range on their rifles. So DC-15X snipers, which we can see here, as well as droid snipers, are the only ones able to fire at this range. But now some clones are getting within range of some of these bunker systems that the droids have. Huge amounts of explosions rocking the droid fortress as ATTEs begin to open up into them as as well clones are taking some seriously heavy fire at this point sonic blaster cannons doing some serious damage wait is this that droid got back on the gun oh it's still alive it's still kicking okay that's not a very good thing for the clones they need to take that out again it's no good when that happens because boom that shot rips into them and there should be an ex Okay, the explosion didn't kill the clones. It's so weird. Sometimes the Sonic Blaster Cannons do the damage. Sometimes they don't. Uh, over here, we've got Boyle moving up with his troops. They're laying low. They know those cannons are going to be targeting them. And it doesn't matter because they do fire. Okay, all right. It hit the hill. They're okay. Yeah, at this point, just get up and start firing, boys. Laying low, probably not going to work because these cannons are going to be able to shoot you pretty good here, I think. Uh, we need the ATTE to come forward. It is firing off its shots very inaccurately at this point because it's still pretty far away on the battlefield. But there we go, the top cannon of the ATTE. Bunker busts, uh, does not manage to kill any droids inside the bunker. The bunker is very absorbent of a lot of shock power because it's made of, uh, very sort of bendable material. That's how bunkers work. And so the shock does not end up killing all of the droids inside. It gets absorbed into the, uh, bunker essentially. And Boyle goes down. 
He was acting as the vanguard for the Clone Trooper Legion here, and he ends up getting shot down. So we're going to need a medic over here on Boyle. How's Waxer doing? He's probably not too keen to hear that his best friend has gone down, but at this point, he needs to fixate on fighting. We've got tons of Sonic Blaster Fire coming into these Clone Troopers over here and wiping them out left and right. And honestly, in the last battle, Sonic Blaster Cannons were not a big deal, except for the very last one which ended up getting like 140 kills. Uh, of course, you know, they're pretty easy to take out. The droid on top has almost no cover for him, so he just needs to get shot a few times and he is dead. It's just the very front of the turret that's covering him. So not super difficult to take these things out. It's just a matter of the clones actually aiming at them. And right now there's a small squad of Geonosian droids and clone troopers, um, or sorry, and <laughs> Geonosians and battle droids getting taken on by clone troopers uh, as the clones try to converge on them instead of working on the sonic turrets. I see Waxers way up ahead over here. He's taking some shots. He might, he's gonna go down. He is for sure gonna go down. He's still alive somehow. He's, he's at least taking cover now under the trenches. That's good, but he is a heavy, heavy target right here. At least he is distracting a lot of that droid fire, and it's preventing the rest of his clones back here from getting shot by that fire. These guys are super condensed, super together. That is not good. They need to spread out a little bit more if they want to live through this thing, man. Uh, these guys going up against the droids and the Geonosians over there, which is good to see. Then nice. How's Cody's men doing? We have not checked in on Cody's men. The ATT over here is sidestepping the battlefield. Um, do you maybe want to go forward? That'd be cool. I'm going to do that for you because you're being an idiot. Uh, the rest of the clones over here have been taking some serious losses. There's like a little cave system in here. And oh my god, that's a lot of clones in there. <laughs> Okay, most of the clones taking cover in the cave system. It looks like Cody went down here to go check out what's inside this portion of the cave with some troopers and ends up getting killed by the battle droid army there. So, RIP to Cody. I guess th there's a medical droid here. You know what? Skirt, skirt, skirt. Okay, healing. Uh, what about Lord Gonk? Lord Gonk, come and bless this man. Beep, bop, boop, bop. And Cody has stabilized, and he just needs a little back to bath, and he'll be okay. Because he's my favorite clone trooper, and he can't die. Uh, all right. The rest of the droids inside here getting just absolutely destroyed. One Sonic Blaster Cannon down over here. Where's the other one? Oh, it's over this way. This one is still alive, currently still firing away at some of these clone troopers. Again, most of the clone troopers taking cover in the cave, so shout out to the to the very brave soldiers who aren't in the cave, and that second one goes down as well. So now it's just a little bit of droid infantry over here that the clones will have to deal with. Not too big of a deal. Cody's men did take substantial losses, but they're doing okay now. ATTE over here is just lording over these droids. Look at that double kill. Oh, it's going, it's going ham. It's going absolute ham. Droid rockets still firing into it, particularly from the top bunker up here. Again, this position, very, very hard to kill. So the clones are going to have to go in and do it manually. And it looks like some clones are coming through our tunnel system over this way now. Um, and they are pouring in some fire. They're taking a lot of shots. They're pretty dense, so if a rocket or a sonic blaster shot goes in here, we're looking at mass casualties, but for now, they're able to ball up their fire and get a lot of shots out all at once from this tunnel system. So not a bad play from the clone troopers one bit. This is pretty solid. This is pretty solid. This is how you take care of a choke point like this. You just go through guns ablazing. So they're getting a lot of cover fire out, a lot of suppressive fire, taking out the droids, stuff like that. So this is perfect. This is perfect, but you have to remember, this is just the exterior of the Spire Fortress. We have all of this interior to go through as well, and ATTEs are not going to be able to fit through there, so it's going to be extra hard. Still got two Sonic Blaster Cannons over here. This one's dead, this one's alive, this one's alive. So, the clones do have some work cut out for them, but for the time being, they're doing okay, and look at that ATTE shot. Kills the Geonosian on the back of that Sonic Blaster Cannon. Very well done, and it is going to tumble, baby. That thing is not going to be recoverable by the droids. Very nice. Would love to see. And here comes the rest of this clone infantry, and I don't think there are any Sonic Blaster Cannons left to shoot them. The only thing they have to really worry about is rocket launchers. Uh-oh. Okay, so this ATTE, its sirens are going off. I wouldn't be surprised if it starts flaming pretty soon uh, because its shield generator is now down. That's what the sirens mean. It's getting some more shots off. It's it's It knows the targets to take out, and that would be the Sonic Blaster Cannons up here, which it's working on. So in its brave 
brave last little stand here, it's managing to do some fairly big things, and you gotta appreciate that. Alright, how are Cody's men doing over here? We know uh, Boyle's men are working hard. Cody's men, looks like they're also working very, very hard. They finally take out that Sonic Blaster Cannon. Wait, I thought that was already taken out. Maybe it got remanned. I don't know why they're shooting it so much, but there's not much resistance left here for the clones. A few droids that are choosing to stay silent at the time being. Maybe as the clones get closer and they can see the, the green of their visors, they'll start to fire into them. But for now, those droids are completely silent. Okay. How about Waxer's men? Oh my god, it is a disaster. Okay. We have a mass casualty field over this way. If you look at the minimap at the top left, blue are clone troopers left alive, red are droids left alive, still a lot of Boyle's men, still a lot of Cody's men, Waxer's men are few and far between. We got maybe two squads worth left alive. There's Waxer. He is down for the count. His ATTE is still alive, and it's going to join this one over here, which is on fire, so maybe they're just requesting reinforcements from Waxers and trying to order this one over here. So that'll be good, but it seems like it's going to be up to Cody and Boyle's men at this point to continue onward. These droids over here begin to finally fire at Cody's men over this way. I think Cody's men should be able to win this without too much of a problem. I don't know. We'll just have to see. It, it can be tough out there, man. It can be very, very tough out there. Uh, but these clones are spamming fire into the droids. And uh, looks like they might be getting some good kills. Yeah, there you go. That's a rack of DZ-15X fire going into these guys all at once. All right, let's go bump it up a speed here. As uh, we, we shouldn't be having too many lag problems. This isn't like an uber laggy battle to begin with. So it should be okay, I think. Uh, yeah, these clone troopers just kind of need to suffocate the droids here. Keep them suppressed until you can finally manage to get some angles on them, or they pop up like this, and then get your shots in and slowly kill them. This should be a no-clone death result here on these droids, unless they really mess it up somehow. Um, but this, this region over here should be good. Okay, there goes one of those droids, and they'll do the same to the other ones there as they go. Uh, these droids in here are another story. They're still pretty compact over here. They've got some cheeky little angles that they can fire from, and makes it very hard for the clones to fire in to them clones are pretty stacked over here and they're having to go up against that bunker up above as well so that's that's very problematic for the clones there that bunker being able to pour fire down into them as they have to also simultaneously attack the ground forces of the droids and geonosians over this way but it wouldn't be the second battle of geonosis without it being extraordinarily difficult for no apparent reason <laughs> these geonosians somehow know how to put up a good fight, man, and it, it does become rather difficult for the clones. So, uh, we've got these guys pushing forward. They're working as a unit. They're they're working through their losses. They've taken some losses. There we go. There's that ATTE dead, so the droids do manage to kill that one right over there. This one's still very much alive. Is it? If it's stuck, I'll just go ahead and fix it like that. There you go. Unstuckified. There you are. Um, but this one... It's driver died. It's not driver, it's main gunner. But it's kind of vibing. I don't know what it's doing. We'll just leave it for now because I unstuck one. We'll give him the one and not mess with the other one. We got some snipers over here still left alive. So still some powerful hitters for the clones. Um, but honestly, what I would do is just run up here and get some grenades off. It seems like the droids aren't really able to shoot you anyway because of this rock formation probably hitbox is a little too big than it's supposed to be in the game so that's probably why so just get grenades off and kill these guys and start proceeding forward because we got two more sonic blaster cannons here and that might be it i think that's it for the droids and, and sonic blaster cannons which is not too bad for the clones they can deal with two very easily i think unless one of them turns into the second coming of rambo again and in which case we're screwed okay bit of a grenade right there blows up just one clone somehow i don't know how uh clones are deciding to worm their way through this tiny little crack here to go at these droids um and it's derpy it it do be derpy all right let's go to normal speed here oh my god men of war strikes again with the derpiness <laughs> it's the hitboxes that's the real problem but there we go they're flooding in now they're getting their kills they're taking a couple losses nothing too horrible there we go there we go all right they're making it through and cody's men join them on the other side as well Beautiful. Okay, so the bottom forces should be donezo for the droids. We've still got the bunker up here, which is heavily manned, and they're still getting fired down at the clones below. 
but the clones have managed to destroy a few of them, knocking the heads off of a few droids there. Um, we got a couple droids up here also firing away. These are very hard droids to kill, my man. These guys, extremely difficult to shoot them. Extremely difficult. So this fortress is not exactly going to bend to the clone's will very easily. Ah, oh, there we go! The clones are finally grenading these droids, and guess what? It works out. Guess what? That's that's exactly what they needed to do. So now they're actually making some progress over here, um, and they'll open up the avenue for the rest of the clones to move in. These guys might have taken heavy casualties, but they can still help out by paving the path up towards the front entrance here. All right, there we go. Beautiful grenade right there. Takes out those droids. Now these guys can start working on these sonic blaster cannons. That's a, such an easy kill. Kill him, kill him, kill him. Come on. Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay, they got one kill. They got one kill. That's huge. Okay, the other one is starting to shoot into them. All right. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. You got one. There is now just one sonic blaster cannon left alive for the droids. Very, very big. Very, very big for the clones to be able to do that. All right, all right. So let's push on forward here and take this thing out. It's not firing right now, which is a very good thing. Uh, and then the clones just have to walk on up here and <laughs> take out these droids, which will be a challenge. <laughs> There's a lot of droids up here, and it is a choke point, but I think the clones can do it. And then they have to take this as well, which does have defenses on the interior too. So that's going to be tough as well. This is not going to be a walk in the park, but I mean, look at all these clones. Despite mass casualties, they brought enough troopers to make this happen. Full-scale planetary invasion part two is in full swing here. And of course, if they take this, then they are able to launch their siege on the droid factory here, um, which I heard you guys, we definitely will be trying to incorporate a super tank in there because that's pretty prevalent in the second battle of Geonosis. So thank you to the commenter for that. All right, clones working their way up here. It looks like this did end up getting killed at some point. I don't know how, but all right, good for the clones. Good for the clones indeed. One Geonosian dies up here, five clones die. That's how this is going to go from now on, because this is going to be a hard-fought victory now. All right. Oh, they're taking it slow. Oh, they can mountain climb up here? Oh, that might, that might allow for a second avenue if these clones can glitch their way up there. That would actually be pretty huge. Um, but yeah, next battle, of course, we're going to go for the facility, and we are going to incorporate, I think, if I remember, some super tanks. And then, you know what else happens in the Battle of Geonosis, the second Battle of Geonosis, is the Brain Worms. So, maybe we have the second coming of some Clone Trooper Zombies on the battlefield, too. This is not going to end at three parts. This is a three-parter right now. This is a trilogy right now. But I'm thinking this is like a six or seven episode series, if you were to ask me. Clones get some nice grenades off right there. They end up grenading their own trooper, though, too. And so they did more damage to their own men than they did to the droids, I think, right there. This could be a really bad case of clone trickle-in. Alright, I'm gonna... I'm gonna squad up the clones, so at least they work together in units. But beyond that, I'm not gonna help them out. I'm gonna let them do their own thing, but we'll go ahead and make, like, 10 or 12 squads here. Um, and there's some more back here, and we'll push them forward because they're choosing to be dinguses. Way back there, there's one trooper there. Alright, so now we got like 10 or so clone squads. They'll work together at least a little bit more. But again, this is going to be a toughie because the clones have to take this little fortress area, and they are not very good at that. <laughs> no, sir. Alright, these guys are mulling about down here. He's, I, I'm telling you, actually, this is not a bad idea. Despite your grenade thing not working out, Getting more troops up here and glitching them up here, mountain climbing them up, and getting grenades, gr grenades, grenades into those droids would actually be very, very big for you. I think that would be a huge deal. All right, this is very slow going. Why don't we go ahead and time lapse this a little bit? Clones will be attacking through this gap here and potentially over there if they do manage to do so. And of course, we have the droid defenders right here. I think this will be very, very cool to watch in time lapse form. So let's do it. All right, small time lapse there because the clones actually did start to attack in unison a good bit over here, and and they're doing actually a pretty good job of filling this gap. Um, not really in terms of getting kills; they've got a couple more kills under their belt, which is good. Um, but at the very least, they're filling the gap and they're getting shots off every so often, which is good. That's pretty good. They do have a piece of cover here with the sonic blaster, but everyone seems to be going in front of it instead of behind it. Except for this guy. This guy's very smart, and he's getting shots off because of it. Well done. Oh yeah, flood, 
Flood some more troops in there. Get some more troops in there. We want constant fighting here. The one thing that we've got on our side here for the clone troopers is the fact that we have big numbers compared to the droids. We have like 10 times as many troopers as them as of right now, which is really, really good. Are the mountain climbers doing anything? No, not really. But it is what it is. At the very least, this gap here is shrinking as the droids and Geonosians have taken further losses, which is really, really good for the clone troopers. That's nice. This is what we like to see. I know it's a choke point. I know it is a brutal hill battle. But look, fellas, we got to do it some point, And so we'll do it right now. Numbers are shrinking for the clone troopers as they continue this devious activity. But, oh, God, those grenades. Oh, God, those grenades. Oh, God, those grenades. Yikes, dude. Oh, my goodness. That is brutality right there. Yikes and a half. Come on, fellas. Oh my god, this this spire may never fall for the droids. If the clones don't take it, I'm not entirely sure what to do for the next episode. What what do you guys think? Maybe a counterattack from the droid factory since the droids were able to buy so much time or something like that? That would kind of make sense, actually. I don't know. Let, let me know in the comments. We don't know yet. Maybe the clones do manage to secure the victory and our siege of the factory continues on. If not, I am not entirely sure. <laughs> What's gonna happen here because this is oh my goodness. This is brutal man Just a few droids are absolutely clapping clone trooper cheeks in this choke point invasion Holy cow. This is brutal Really really brutal stuff All right, why don't we do another time lapse because it is slowing down a little bit here All right, well, actually, the clones have made a little bit of progress, I'm happy to report. If their reinforcements would just pop up here, that'd be really, really great. Um, but they've defeated this block of, of droids and Geonosians. The second block is not as effective as of yet, and the clones seem to be able to actually get some fire out of these other guys. So it seems like their strategy, although taking a bit of time, is somewhat working. Uh, mountain climbers are doing nothing. AT-ATEs aren't really capable of doing anything at this point. Um, there's a few stragglers down here we can send up and we will do that for them and then we'll unload the crew of the ATTEs because there's no point in them anymore. They, they will not be able to get up here at all. So we'll do that. And then there's a few more stragglers here. Um, see, this is the thing. If I get these guys into the choke point, people will be mad at me in the comments. If I don't put these guys into the choke point, more people will be mad at me in the comments. So... See, this is this is the struggle as a battle simulator YouTuber is nothing is ever fair. <laughs> nothing I do in the battle or don't do in the battle will ever be seen as fair in the eyes of everyone. So I'm going to do what I think is good for now. And I'm going to let the clones, since they're all squatted up, which, you know, was already a benefit for them. I'm going to go ahead and let them continue to fight this out the way they're fighting it out. And then if they lose a, you know, a good chunk more soldiers, I'll move these guys into the choke point and let them attack from there. But for now, I'm going to let the AI do their thing because it is actually working a little bit and we are seeing more droids and Geonosians dying here. So that's actually not too bad. It's not the worst. Oh, this guy's got a grenade. Throw it. No, he put it away. I hate when the AI does that, dude. You're about to have the biggest come up of all time by throwing a grenade into that and then you put it away because you second guess yourself never second guess yourself just go for it why did i start sounding like patrick mahomes i don't know okay um <laughs> let's let's time lapse just a little bit more okay well it's been a little bit longer the clones are struggling for sure so what we're gonna do here is we're going to push them at the bottom of the choke point here all at once. This is like kind of helpful, but at the same time, they're gonna take crazy losses. It's basically just gonna speed it up. I don't I don't think it'll be like super duper like OP or anything like that. And honestly, if you don't like it, that's fine, guys. Make your own battle. Like <laughs> I love y'all. But sometimes the comment sections get like way too toxic about what's fair and what's not fair. And then people argue amongst themselves about what's fair and what's not fair. 
and I'm like, man, if a battle is, it's already been going on for half an hour, and that was a seven minute time lapse of clones just slowly dying in there, I'd rather make it more entertaining, because these videos are for entertainment. So I'm gonna stop talking about this topic, and normal speed, let's see how this goes for the clones. This could be an absolute disaster, or it could go pretty well for them. Either or, uh, I'm not entirely sure to be honest, and it seems like right now we are verging on complete and utter disaster. They're at the bottom of the choke point, so it's kind of up to them to push forward, and it seems like they are doing a simultaneous push forward plus provide cover fire type strategy, which is honestly probably the best strategy they can employ right now, and they're getting some droid kills now, and they're getting into that choke point. They've taken horrendous losses, but they're kind of up there. Okay, the droids are now starting to kill even more of them. I see a couple droids have grenades drawn. Nope, they put it away. Okay, never mind. That would have been huge for them, but instead they decide to put it away, which is definitely not the ideal strategy right there. The clones right here, I mean, they've still got a, a pretty fat stack of troopers. They're kind of up there. They're getting the kills that they need. Oh, that could be a huge droid grenade. That was not a very well-placed one, but they still got some kills. Could have been better. That could have been better for sure, but I mean, it is what it is. You can't always... Uh, get the best grenade or whatever, you know, sometimes you just have a flopper ropper. It is what it is. Uh, Alright, these droids are definitely clapping clone cheeks. <laughs> uh, I think I think the clones are about to take the fattest L of this campaign yet. Actually, they haven't taken an L yet. They have won the past two battles. The droids are about to get their first W. Red or dead clones right now, yellow or dead droids. And you have to remember, a lot of bodies are deleted by uh, tanks walking over them. Like these guys, all that's left are the guns and the helmets. That's what they leave. Uh, or by explosions also can cause the bodies to get deleted. Obviously, the clones have not only lost a lot of troopers, they also lost um, a lot of their command, Commander Cody, as well as Waxer and Boyle, which is no good. And these droids are absolutely clapping cheeks up here and destroying the last remaining clone troopers. So I think we are gonna have a droid victory here. Let's time lapse and see what happens to the last of these clones. All right guys, the last seven minutes has been an absolute standoff between the clones and the last remaining droids here. Um, <laughs> Yeah, it's nothing has happened. So I'll bring these guys up here. I'll move these guys around a little bit and let's go in fast speed here and see what the clones do. They might do nothing again. They're just laying down. They're very scared at this point and I don't blame them. And these guys got stuck again. Maybe they're stuck with the sonic blaster. There you go. Maybe not. And these guys are stuck on the ledge. So we'll push them over here. We'll push these guys over here and there you go. Are they gonna do anything? Maybe, maybe not, who knows. Oh, oh, they're just, they're like little ants running around really fast. Oh, here we go. They're actually going to assault. You have to remember, there's still the bunker in here. And actually, that clone is firing a little bit into the bunker. Interesting. Actually, a couple of the troopers at the bunker doors did end up dying. There's still a lot in the bunker. There's a 0% chance clones win this. Okay, that's not true. There's never a 0% chance. I would say there's like a 3% chance the clones win this. It is not looking good for them. It is not looking good at all. More clones dying here as we have the final moments of combat in this thing. And it goes quiet again. Oh my god. <laughs> this is like the longest anticlimactic end to a battle I have ever seen in Men of War Assault Squad 2. There we go, they're pushing forward again. There's a little bit of fire coming out of the bunkers every once in a while, you see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gene Ocean fire from the bunkers. That's kind of funny. All right, let's time lapse it again. It's taking forever. Well, boys, there we go. There's apparently two clone troopers left alive way over here. They can go tell what happened here. There's one droid left alive on the exterior of the bunker. He has 10 kills, but there's many droids and Geonosians left alive on the interior, about 20 or 30 of them. So the clones end up taking a big fat L here. Their first L of the second battle of Geonosis in this mini series. So I need you guys to let me know what we should have happen in the next episode. Please be sure to hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already and comment down below. I appreciate all the support, guys. I'll see you on the next one. Peace. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Be sure to click that subscribe button for more content and hit the notification bell if you'd like to be alerted to whenever I live stream or upload. Thanks so much.